We should go back. Why? <laughs> we were sent to do the fencing. We've done that. Yeah, but there's still half a day left. Oh, he's such an old woman, Jeff. You know what Dad's like. He'll just find something else for us to do. Yeah, we could use our initiative. Find things to do ourselves. But that would mean I'd have to break a solemn promise. A promise I made as soon as I could talk. What's that? Never volunteer for anything. Shem. <laughs> <laughs> what? He doesn't listen to me any more than he does you. Hey, look at that. What? That! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, is this what you call a day's work? <laughs> I told you. Now we should just get out. <laughs> so the fence must have been a bigger job than we thought. If it took all day, and your father had to help for most of the afternoon. Still, at least you all worked hard. You should be so proud of them. They all came home dripping wet. I can only imagine it was sweat from... Working so hard in this heat. God, we thank you for the food that you put on our table and the gift of family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You couldn't just watch. You had to join in. Well, it's a boy thing. Climbing trees, jumping into water, so we can't help ourselves. Don't you think you're a bit old? Old? I can still out-jump, out-climb and out-swim every one of them. Maybe they just let you think you can. What? Well, when they were children, I used to play games with them. You'd let them win to build their confidence. So? So now they're grown. Maybe they're doing the same to you. <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> Children or not. Yeah, of course they do. Can I understand? I know. It's just. Just 
fuck? You know what Dad's like about the family staying together? And I'm the eldest, so... <laughs> Shame! We've got Jaffy and Harris on the other side of that wall, Ham and Nala at that side, your parents behind us, and Kanan above. We could be quiet. <laughs> quiet? There are other places. Where? The barn? You want us to have sex in the barn? Shh! With the goats! Somewhere else, then. On the roof? Up a tree? I thought we'd get our own house all day. Don't get grandchildren. Right. I'll talk to them tomorrow, yeah? You said that yesterday, and the day before, and the day before that. But I'm just waiting for the right time. Until you find it, it's not the only thing you'll be waiting for. The fishing boat's finished. I'll deliver it tomorrow. Good. Do you a shopping list? I thought I'd take Canaan. Well, it's time he saw the world with his own eyes, isn't it? We've told him what it's like, isn't that enough? Well, the others have been. I think they were older. You can't protect him forever, Emmy. He's a man now. He needs to make up his own mind about these things, just as his brothers have done. And to do that, he needs to see it for himself. First. But he's still a baby. Oh, hardly. <sighs> Not to you, maybe. God wants us to see everything that's open to us, good or bad. Yeah, well, sometimes I wish God wasn't quite so needy. <laughs> How can someone be a good man when he only knows one path, nothing else? Well, he's so young. He's 18. He's 17 and three quarters. <sighs> Do not let him out of your sight. I won't. Don't be arguing with everyone. I don't argue with everyone. Just deliver the boat, get the money and come home. Unless they're wrong. <laughs> by those who crave power and wealth above all else. How can laws made by men like that have any meaning? But what about God's law? People don't believe God exists. Right. And that's wrong. 20, 25. What do you think? Well, yeah. You teach us to make up our own minds about things, so it can't be wrong for someone to make up in their mind that God doesn't exist. No, it just makes them foolish. Why? Look, you can say I don't know. At least that's honest. Not everyone has faith. But only an idiot would say, there is no God, because to say that, he must first surely understand everything, and only an idiot would think that he did. But the simple truth is that man would rather live in a world of his own design. And this is what it looks like. Come on, son. Where's your money? I don't have any. I haven't got money. What have you got? No, I don't have anything. Liar! Dad. Liar! Dad. Oh. 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 
I'm sorry, Dan. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't st God, nothing to be sorry about. Just don't tell your mother. <laughs> Come on. Noah! Oh, Paul! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paul. <clears throat> this is Kanan. You were this high the last time I saw you. <laughs> Saba, get Kanan here something to eat and drink. So, what brings you to the city? Uh, delivering a fishing boat. You know, one of these days, you're going to have to make up your mind if you're a boat builder who farms or a farmer who builds boats. <laughs> Why ever puts food on the table? <laughs> I have a list. <sighs> Only a married man brings a list. How is Emmy? She's well. Good. <laughs> Wine first. <laughs> then we'll get you everything you need. Can I ask you something? As long as it doesn't involve me doing any more work. <laughs> it's, uh, it's about you and Nalab. What about us? Have you thought about starting a family? Nalab wants five boys and three girls. <laughs> so then... How do you... You don't know how to do it. Of course I know how to do it. It's just, it's more question of where. I and mean, it's impossible in this house with everyone so close. We don't do in the house. We do in the barn. Well, that's what I said, but Salit won't do that. So when do you? Well, we don't. <laughs> Jeff! Hey. Jeff! Hey! Salit won't let Shem get romantic. Yeah, it's not that she won't let me. It's just she doesn't like the idea of doing anything in the house where everyone can hear, that's all. So when do you? They don't. All right! <laughs> God, I wish I hadn't said anything now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best of times. The moneylender lends people money to spend, which they're happy to do. Business thrives. The moneylenders get rich and lend people even more money to spend, and so it goes on. So the rich get richer and everyone else gets more into debt. As long as I get richer, who cares? The strong get fat. It's the same all through nature. <laughs> so as, as long as you have money, you're happy to be no better than the animal. Why not? As long as I'm the lion. <laughs> it's the same the world over. Well, it's not my world. Oh, so you're still trusting in this god of yours? It's your god too. An old man with a white beard sitting on a cloud, looking down on me disapprovingly. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing but a story that my parents used to tell me to frighten me into doing my chores. Well, maybe you should have listened. We don't need to invent a god to explain who we are anymore. We have science. Oh, and what can science do exactly except marvel at God's work and document it? My brother-in-law is a scientist. He says the universe created itself, but man himself is God. Well, in that case, have him make me one of these. Enough now. <laughs> you shouldn't preach at a man when, when you're drinking his wine. <laughs> have him make me one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get bored? Mm, we're usually too busy to get bored. Doing what? Working. Ever been dancing? <laughs> I could take you. I can't. Why not? Are you not allowed? Yes. <laughs> well then. What? <laughs> The journey. Thank you. Uh, okay. 
Yeah. See now? Money makes the world go round after all. And you can see it. Uh, <laughs> I hope you'll be very happy together. <laughs> Safe journey. Give Emmy my love. I will. Can I? Don't we need it? Yeah, but that's not the question. What is? Do we need it more than them? Salad have been talking. Oh? Yeah, about maybe building our own house. Something wrong? No. No, we just thought it'd be nice to, you know, have our own space. I see. We could still be close by. And even have meals together, and it wouldn't affect any of our chores on the farm. I'd still come to work every day and do everything I do now. So everything would be exactly the same? Yeah. Then why go to the trouble of building a house? I'm teasing you. Of course you should have your own house. Truth is, I can't believe it's taken you this long to bring it up. <laughs> what about Dad? Your father will be fine. He does what I tell him. A bit like you and Sullet. I think he's seen enough of the city to put him off ever going there again. <laughs> so, how was it? Was it so bad? It's only a matter of time. Yeah, I suppose so. I was thinking we should let them have the backfield. It's close enough so they can hear us call, but just far enough away so they can have some privacy. You do know that once Shem and Sally go, the rest of them won't be far behind. We'll be rattling around this place on our own. How on earth will you manage? Stuck here on your own with me. You know what I mean. I remember when you used to beg to be left on your own with me. Right, fine, let them all move out then. And what makes you think I want to be left alone with you? Oh.
you go. Thank you. Hey! What? <laughs> Dad, come on. Breakfast. Yeah. How many more pieces? Well, what you got? Do your best. All right, that's it. Come on. Can I? Good. Watch your Can I? I'm what, coming, Mom. God, we thank you for the food you put on our table and the gift of family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's that? Thank you. It seems that Shem and Salah want to build their own house. Maybe it's time you all started thinking about the future and having your own land to work. Our own land? We thought we'd split the land into four, you each take your own section. We'll have our own farms. Well, and as for rent, you simply provide for your parents in their old age. <laughs> well, all right, as long as you don't eat too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we can all build our own houses? In time. The land will be yours, you can do what you want. Term will come. You'll find a wife. Build your own house too. <laughs> it was strange to know everything like your whole life is just already mapped out for you. Well, you'd rather it wasn't. No. Well, maybe sometimes, yeah. Mm excitement step into the unknown is that wrong no you trust me of course then believe me when I tell you that there's nothing out there in the world that is better than what we have here I know I know you were only a baby when your mother and I took you in, but we've always only just wanted what was the best for you. Hmm? You're as much our son as the others. You, you know that, don't you? Yes. Dad. <laughs> <laughs>
frightened, Noah. I mean you no harm. Where did you come from? Who are you? I'm just a messenger. I don't understand. I think you do. Don't forget your faith, Noah. No question it. It's your faith that's brought you here. And because of it, all of mankind will one day be in your debt. You're from God. There is such beauty here. The heat of the sun to warm you. Food that springs up from the earth itself. Man should want for nothing. Yet he wants for everything. But you are content. Huh? I have my home, my family, and as you said, I have the sun to warm me and food springs from the ground. God had such hopes for man. Such love. And there is violence. Arrogance. The hatred of those who are different to you. A world run by moneylenders and warmongers. Where one man grows fat, yet happily watches whilst another starves. Where old men use the bodies of children to feed their desires. But there is still love in the world. Not all men have turned away from God. Then it shall be put to the test. How? God is to send a great flood to cleanse the earth from the stain that man has put upon it. He will bring up the water of the earth and it will engulf the world. The flood will destroy every living thing that God has made and wipe all trace of it from the earth. No, my family. Don't be afraid. You're to be the salvation of man. A testament to God's mercy. A beacon to a new world. Proof that a good man will always be loved by his God. You and your wife, your sons and their wives will be saved. But what about others? I mean, the good people have done no wrong. You can't just kill them. The good will never die. But any who choose to believe you, they can also be saved. You have to build an ark made of gopher wood, layered for strength and covered with pitch inside and out. It will be 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide and 30 cubits high. Make it three stories single window to withstand the deluge, a door that can be raised to allow entry and sealed again. Once the flood comes, only those who board the ark will live. I'm not sure I can find enough wood or enough people who share my faith to fill it if I did. God would not ask if it were not possible. When the time comes, before the deluge, God will also send you beasts and foul, and creatures he has chosen to join you when the waters subside. And when will this flood come? Build your ark. Think of nothing else, and let nothing come before it. God watches. When the ark is ready, the flood will begin. Above all, Noah, never doubt your faith. But I'm just one man, how? Well, say something. I don't know what to say. Well, that you believe me. I believe that you believe it. Oh, you think I've had too much sun, I'm going mad. I know what I saw, what I heard. No, you can't just... Tell me something like this and expect me to take it in my stride. 
Until you came home, the biggest thing on my mind was whether I should change the beds or leave them one more day. Now, it's a, God's going to send a flood and the world's going to end. I'm sorry. I, I know how it sounds. I'm not sure you do. All right. Let's say you're not mad for now. And you really did see this messenger. <laughs> How do you know it wasn't some lunatic escaped from somewhere going around trying to frighten people? I just know. How? Well, it's, it's hard to explain, but, but, but when he spoke, I, mean, I just... I just knew it was the truth. It, I could feel it inside, a, a warmth, a love. There was no doubt. I didn't even question it. And he told you to build a boat? An ark. Fifty times the size of the house? Yeah. And God's going to send animals to fill it. Won't they all eat each other? Oh, I don't know how it's all supposed to work. But everything he said, Amy, it's all the things I've been saying for all these years. The world has gone wrong somewhere. People are selfish and cruel. No one believes in God anymore. Oh, and that's the reason for them all to die. Well, they don't have to. What's going to happen isn't a secret. I can tell them about the Ark. Anyone can change, huh? Come with us. What? It hasn't rained for a year and you're building a boat. People will laugh at you. Oh, you're worried. I'll embarrass you. What do you want me to say? J just accept that my husband has been told by God to build a giant boat 70 miles from the sea because it's going to rain so hard that the world's going to be washed away and not to worry about how it will affect our sons, their wives, everything we have. But God has chosen us. No, he's chosen you. I don't want to be chosen. Could you even build such a thing? I think so, if we all do it together. While still running the farm? Feeding the animals, working the fields, bringing the crops in. We've just given the boys their own land. And so, if we left everything to concentrate on building this boat, this ark, then that's it? We just let the farm die around us? When the flood comes, the farm will be useless anyway. You're so sure that you would gamble your home, everything we've worked for, and the lives of your family? Yes. What do we tell the children? The truth! A boat. Yes. To save us and the animals from a flood. Yes. Can we just go to high ground? It won't be that kind of flood. It will take away everything. Well, speak your minds. It does sound a bit impractical. Whatever we all think, your father intends to build this thing. There is no choice. I build it or we die. And everything else we have to put aside until it's done. But you've just given us all our own land. I know. Huh. Well, so now you're telling us we have to Watch that land go to ruin while we build some stupid boat. Fem. No, let him speak. You said we could build our house. You said everyone would help. I'm sorry. All right. Let's say we do this. We abandon all our land. Let the crops die. The animals let loose to fend for themselves. What if we do all that and the flood doesn't come? It will. But what if it doesn't? I know what I've said is hard for you to take in. And I know you don't share my beliefs. But I have to do this. Either with my sons or on my own. We can't lose everything we've all worked for. And you've no right to ask that of us. And for what? Or to build some boat on the edge of the desert. I love you. We all do. And you couldn't have been a better father. But you taught me to take care of my family above all else. And that's what I have to do. So you build your boat if you believe that's what you must do. But I'll build my house as we planned. And take care of the farm.
ham. Shem's right, Dad. I'm sorry. I want to help you. But we can't just let everything die. Right, someone needs to say it. Say what? What if it is real? What if Dad isn't mad and he did see an angel? What if this flood does come? Look around you. There isn't going to be any flood. He's lost his mind. But it's still Dad. But he's ill. And until he's better, we make sure there's still a farm for him to come back to. No, please don't do this. We need nails, rope, more tools. Send the boys, let them fetch them. People have a right to know. They won't listen to you, you know that. Doesn't matter if they listen or not. What matters is that I tell them. Kenan, get down. Uh, he needs someone to help him load the car. Leave him, I'll take care of him. Mum? They're going to the city to tell them about the ark. Dad, don't. They'll just laugh at you. I have to make them understand. You must tell your families to come to the ark. Dad, you can't say these things in the city. No, please, listen to me. I'm begging you. They'll hurt you. We'll go with them. No, no, you will stay here. Look after your mother and your wives. Emmy, Emmy, don't you understand? If I think only of myself, then I'm no better than they are. And is that who you want me to be now? One of them? And if you really love me, let me be the man that you love. Go. OK, come on. Hey. Hey, 
remember how to get to the courtyard, Paul, where we went last time? Yeah. OK. And this is a list. Have, listen, have them bring everything here. Don't, go straight there. Don't stop for anything. Don't talk to anyone on the way. Oh, oh, go. Oh. OK. I've got a mess. Listen, everyone. Please, listen to me. I am... No, no, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I'll bring it back. Listen to me. Listen to me. Everyone, listen to me. God has sent me a message for all of you. He is sickened by what man has become, what you have become. You, you neglect your children, let them roam around the streets like wild animals while you concern yourselves for your own desires. I have a list from my father. You deny the existence of God there for the no same. God. <laughs> there is no God. God is to send a flood, a deluge of water that will cleanse the earth of the stench of man and what he has become. This flood will wash away all the possessions that you hold so dear, and it will kill everything that walks upon the earth. He's asked me to build a boat, uh, an ark, that will save only those who still believe in him. He still loves you, and he will spare you if you only turn back to him. gets a bit cranky too sometimes. I'm glad you came though. <laughs> Me too. One of my friends is having a party tonight. Can you stay? Another five minutes and it'll strung you up. It's the truth. No. The truth is you insult their intelligence. <laughs> by telling them they've got no control over their own destiny. Said the flood will happen, I swear it. You're a good friend, Noah. I respect your beliefs, I really do, but... Just... not enough to share them. No. At least... Think about sending your family to the ark. Oh, Emmy said this is home. What? Thanks for helping.
it go? Oh, exactly as you said it would. So what now? The world has become what it has because man has lost his faith. I will not do the same. There's nothing wrong with building a giant boat. Though I'm not sure the edge of the desert would have been my first choice as its home. I mean, any fool would know that boats struggle to float in sand, wouldn't they? Hasn't anyone explained to your father about the rather simple relationship between boats and water? My father isn't a fool. It isn't supposed to flow in the sand. He believes there's going to be a flood. Oh, yeah. The whole God sending a flood thing. So not only does he not understand the basic laws of science, he's also delusional. Can we talk about something else? You see, the problem with ignoring everything that science has taught us and believing that one person designed the whole world is it leaves you with the rather obvious question of who designed the designer? No, I'm interested, really. I mean, does anyone really believe in God anymore? What about you, Kenan? Do you believe in God? I don't know. You don't know? Do you at least have an opinion? I think... You can say I, I don't know. I mean, at least that's honest. But only an idiot would say there is no God, because to say that, surely you must first understand everything. And only an idiot would think he did. Tell them that he's not your father. He's the only father I've ever known. Yeah, but you're not like him. You can't blame them for thinking the way they do. <laughs> can't I? No, because what he's doing is really stupid. He believes in it. That doesn't make it right. Have you ever believed in anything? Not in God. I believe in what I see. I answer to no one but myself. It doesn't matter what people think or say, does it? What matters is us. Let's build a boat. 
brought a hammer. It's what you men seem to use to fix just about everything. Figured I might need it. I'm sorry, it's just me. That's the trouble with all, let them make their own decisions approach to bringing up kids. Maybe we should just beat them instead. Make them do as they're told. Get in that desert and build a giant boat with your father. Am I rambling? A bit. Well, it's because I've just seen the outline of your boat. Please tell me you've made some horrible sizing mistake. Sorry. I think I'm gonna need a bigger hammer. Why did you come? Because although you've clearly gone mad, and you've made the leap from farmer to idiot in one fell swoop, you're my idiot, and I love you. But do you believe what I told you? I believe in you. What have I ever done to deserve you? I have no idea. Seems to be making good progress. For a madman? I never said that. Not what you're thinking. <laughs> you taught us to have minds of our own. And then when we do, you suddenly don't seem so pleased. Oh, that's a fair point. But you always taught me to value the things that are important. Family. Our home. The land that supports us. Yet now you've abandoned all those things. When you were small, and I used to ask you to collect kindling for the fire to make everyone warm, you used to rush out with your basket to fill it. Yeah. And every now and then, when you were only halfway through doing it, I'd call you back for another errand, something more important. An animal had escaped, I needed an extra pair of hands. You didn't question why I told you to leave something that I'd sent you to do. You know why? Because I was your father. You never questioned it because you had no doubt that I loved you and whatever I was asking you to do was for the best. God has told me to leave the path that I was on and to take another. I can't question it or doubt him. I must do as he asks, knowing that he loves me and whatever he's asking me to do is for the best. Just as you did for me when you were a child. (laughs) 
You've grown into a good man, Sham. And I couldn't be prouder of you. But your heart is telling you to look after your wife and your family. So, that's what you must do. She has a fever. She needs rest, drink water. You'll stay with her. Yeah? She shouldn't have been out there working in this heat. I know. No. He has to understand what he's doing. Look at what he's doing to us. It's not right. I am still the head of this family. Well, then you should be taking care of it. Providing for it. Looking after the farm. Helping your sons with their homes like you promised to. But you're not, are you, Dad? You're building a boat because God has told you to. Tell him! Tell him! you do as he said? You tell your family? My parents had already heard about the madmen building a boat in the desert. You?
Well, someone should burn it before it kills him. You're not serious. We can't. What, you'd rather see him die? Well, of course not. Look at it. It's insane. There isn't a river or lake deep enough to take that hull. It could only float in the sea, and the coast is 70 miles away, even if we could get it there, which we can't. We still can't burn it. I just want my dad back. He hasn't gone anywhere. He's never left your side for more than a day. Since the moment you were born. None of you. What are you doing? Going to help my husband. No, you can't. I won't allow it. Which one of you is man enough to stop me when your father couldn't? I'm gonna help him build his ark. Not to pander to his madness. And not because he believes that it's God's will, but because I remember what love is. And faith. Not the kind of faith that your father has in God, but the faith I have in him. Faith that's grown over years of watching him work to take care of all of us with no thought for himself. Bathing his broken and bloodied hands every night after he got back from working the fields on his own year after year after year. Faith he deserves because he's only ever taught you kindness and love. I've watched him go without food so his children can eat. I've seen him work when he's so crippled with pain that I had to help him out of bed. So it was his faith in God that got him through everything that he's had to endure. And it's that faith that brings us here. Then I'm going to help him finish his ark. If I die in the process, then I'll die happy. <laughs> happy and proud, because I found a way to show him how much I love him. So don't you, don't you dare tell me to leave that man on his own out there. I'll be at his side as long as there's breath in my body. And shame on you that you're not.
Nan. Where are you going? I'm going to see someone. What, a girl? Yeah. Where? You can't stop me. What, the city? Oh, you, you can't go there on your own. That's exactly what I've been doing for weeks. It's not like you all say, not once you get to know it, it's fun. But Dad finds out. He won't. Not unless you tell him. Why don't you come and live here? My father would find you some work. You could stay with us. Did you intend to sneak backwards and forwards forever? <laughs> no. Maybe your worried daddy's blood might come. <laughs> no. Don't you want to be with me all the time? That's it. That's it. Right, come on, let's go. Still plenty to do inside. Done. Ready when you are. you talk about the Ark? We all did. If you have room. 
Yes, there's plenty of room. Room for all. Rest, come. Welcome. Right. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Look, can I help me? Food, water, go on, don't just stand there. Maybe this is what God was waiting for. People to come. Well, now that they're here, what do we do with them? Give them food and water. And then what? Blessings for your kindness. Come, come. That's it, go right through, the family will help. Come, come right through, welcome, come and rest. supposed to actually get on the ark. Wait there. No. I mean, it's only a few yards away. We just make a dash for it when it starts raining. You think so? Definitely. And it wouldn't hurt if we just took one or two things off, would it? Just for now. Like what? Clothes, pots and pans. It's hard preparing meals, and I've been in the same dress for a week. Just while we're waiting. We can put them all back as soon as it starts to rain. Canaan. You know how dangerous it is. It's the very reason that I took you there in the first place, so that you could see for yourself. There are terrible people there, Canaan. Sabah's there too. I want to be with her. Well, then we do things properly. I speak with her father. We don't want to live here. What? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. Uh, I, I want to be free to... To do what? To do anything. Everything. Sabba says if father can find me work, I, I can stay with them. No. No, tell him. No, we won't allow it. You won't allow it? No! What happened to me being a man? Making my own decisions, going my own way? Not in the city. Well, th then, then I'll run away. Please. No, you can't keep me here against my will. I don't want to stay here, Mum, and turn into... What, me? Kenan? Well, look at you! Kenan, don't. Don't what? Tell the truth. 
have a life, make my own decisions. What, Mum? Tell me. Don't what? Is this what you've learned in your new life? How to shout at the people who love you? How to have no concern for those who love you as long as you get what you want? Is that the world that you can't wait to get back to? Yes! Kanan! No, Mum, get off of it! Please! Kanan!
Never once have I put my feelings above yours or imposed my will on you. All I've ever done is to try and help you find your way in the world, to try and help you be a man. From the very moment that they put you in my arms, until now, I have loved you in a way you will never understand until you have a child of your own. I've never lied to you, and I swear I am not lying now. This flood is coming. It won't stop. It will take away everything. Kinna, please. Just once more. Trust me, son.
If it's a boy, I thought we'd call it Canaan. is cleansed and from now on whenever man sees the rainbow he should remember what happened there and why I won't forget future. Do you think man will learn his lesson, Noah? I don't know. I suppose time will tell.